Welcome to the Green Living Show 2011. I'm Emmanuel Beliveau, and you're watching Exhibit Showcase. I'm with Rebecca from Wild Ontario. Rebecca, nice Hi, to meet nice you. To meet you. And who do we have here? This is Einstein, a great horned owl. Ontario Nature is a wonderful organization. They support field naturalist groups. They support conservation of the environment. They help people understand what we have, where we live, which, which is so amazing. And you don't need to travel to South America or Africa to find mind-blowingly amazing animals like Einstein. They're right here, essentially in our backyards. All right, well, thank you so much for your thank time. You so and it's a pleasure meeting Einstein. Yeah. Einstein, you take care. Anything to say? I know you're, no, you're known for your music, but you're also known for your activism. You've done a few different environmental things. What are they? Oh, um, I mean, as musicians, we really get called on often to play concerts for various, um, various concerts. And specifically, in the last five or four more years, I've been working um, and, and helped to start a citizens group in Burlington, Ontario, called Pearl. And we're working to protect Mount Nemo, which is part of the Niagara Scar. World Biosphere Reserve, really important area ecologically. I'm Jeff Moss. And I'm Kelly Taylor. We're from Moss LED. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Exhibit, Exhibit Showcase. Showcase. It's crucial to do double strapping, not just one layer of straps. That allows for three inch of airflow in between the structure and the metal panel. That air, cooler air comes in, gets heated up, moves up, vents again through the ridge vent. Again, that allows for less heat to build up in the attic and for proper venting of metal, cooling down of the metal. And metal reflects up to 70% heat. With these three factors working together, we have much, we're achieving much cooler attic, which means you will have no moisture, no condensation happening. You have dry insulation. When insulation getting dry, and it takes about two months after installing metal roof for insulation to dry out, and you will see significant savings in hydro and gas consumptions for heating and cooling of your house. You know, when a building is slated to come down, whether it's a factory, a, a, a farm, a barn, uh, a schoolhouse, or a church, um, we'll bid on the on the, the job, the demolition job, or the deconstruction, uh, and then based on what we estimate the salvage value to be, uh, we'll reclaim, we'll get the job, reclaim the materials, and then. That's when my side of the business takes over and time with materials repurposes and remills those. Okay. I'm with Nick, the Senior VP of Corporate Affairs at Tim Hortons. Good morning, Manuel. Nick, how are you doing this morning? We're good. We're real good. Fantastic. Now, what is Tim Hortons doing here at the Green Show? Well, we're here in partnership with the CAA, promoting our new relationship. Uh, and we're also here to uh, let the public know about our sustainability report uh, and, it's, and our initiatives that we proudly launched at the end of March. Well, what is this new sustainability report? What's it all about? It's really our, our focus of uh, what we're trying to do to uh, support the communities that we're in, the planet of course, and motivating individuals to do their part uh, to help the initiatives that uh, we're moving forward with. Climate change is coming fast and furious and I, I think people are confused by whether it's something to be frightened of, whether it's an opportunity, whether we leave it to governments, whether the business is involved. It's complicated and I think um, we are yet to have an adult conversation in this country about climate change and how to solve the problem. So I'm trying to have that adult conversation in the absence of that conversation happening amongst our national leaders. At the end of the day, your passion is racing. You don't want to give up racing, so we got to find a way to continue doing that and make it sustainable. That's what I gather from all this. Well, that's just it. I mean, uh, I went to school at Ryerson for four years and took an engineering degree. And when I came out of it, I thought, you know, I just did so much stuff, and we focused so much on sustainability, and I got really passionate about it. And I'm very passionate about racing, so it was a bit question, like, how could I combine those two passions? And when I approached Earth Day with that, uh, they saw that, and they synergized with that, and uh, they really support me in what I'm doing. So what is your association with the Green Living Show? Uh, the Green Living Show is partnered this year with Emma, which is the Environmental Media Association, and I came in with our president, uh, Debbie Levin, because I am on the Young Hollywood Board of Emma. Amy Smart, who's the president of the Young Hollywood Board, uh, is a good friend of mine. She twitters, and Emmanuel Shriki's on the board, as Rosario Dawson, Lance Bass, and so we all have our own individual twitters, and uh, we have actually just decided that we should probably merge them, put them all together, so people can follow us and our various sort of environmental endeavors 
adventures and lifestyle changes and um, and encourage people to kind of to join us we want to we want to start like we're gonna start like the eco crew <laughs> and that has been the Green Living Show 2011 I'm Emmanuel Bellavo and you're watching Exhibit Showcase <laughs>